Uh, Bright Lords, warning, warning. Two idiots are reading the SCP files over the intercom. Why don't you check it out, boss? Hi, welcome back. That was the campest opening to the show we've had yet. Hi, welcome <laughs> back to Discovering SCP. It's... You're like fucking Kirby, like, hi! <laughs> hi! <laughs> fucking put your th- Hello, thumb in da- your mouth and start Hello, my darlings. And welcome back to Discovering SCP. And hello, my darnellings. Oh, who is also this guy? welcome back. <clears throat> it's me, DJ Cactus. Holy shit, we got him back. And, uh, Tian, shall we open with SCP news? Uh, yeah, sure. What's, what kind of SCP news do we have, Donnell? Well, first of all, for those unaware, mm, there was a competition called Cold Post Con. I've heard of this. Which I thought was a really cool idea, which was like, where you were encouraged to post without getting your work edited first. Um, and, like, you weren't able to edit once it went up. And I think Rounder won it. Rounder House? Uh, yeah. Holy shit. It was pretty cool. Um, otherwise, in SCP News, I'm trying to think of anything else important happened. Um, have you heard anything? Uh, I can't. I've not heard anything, though. No. Okay. I think that's all that's important. I haven't seen anything. But I've also been looking at SCP stuff like less lately on Twitter. So who knows? I <clears throat> hate SCP. Okay. Though. I hate SCP. Someone asked me in real life if I like SCP, and I was like, eh. Did you deny it? Like, um, well, no, I wasn't was like, oh, uh, by that one guy. <laughs> it's like, no, no I don't like, know I was like, SCP. I do not know him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't love or hate it. I was just like, who's they, the guy they, who's they like a fake ass friend in the Bible? <laughs> He's talking about Peter. Yeah, was it Peter? He was like, he was fully... He denied Christ three times. <laughs> Which I saw part as fake-ass friend. <laughs> Jesus' is fake-ass friend? You can't say that Catholics will get angry because Peter's a big deal to Catholics. Well, in that instance, even they have to He was a fake-ass... He, he was a, <laughs> was a <laughs> fake-ass fake bitch. Friend. Mm-hmm. I would not deny you. Uh, Oh, thank you. I wouldn't deny you either. I would deny you entry into most countries, but I wouldn't deny you as my friend. <laughs> well, I wouldn't deny that I know you. <laughs> but yeah, we've got some new pages to read, don't we? We do, yes. <clears throat> so um, I've been putting together a sort of international episode. That's still in the works, of which I don't have quite have that all squared away. But um, the SCP content mill produces all the same. Or, so the first thing it. that's up is technically 7970. However, a quick scroll makes me look at how tiny the text uh, is. Yeah, it seems to be a long one. Yeah, and it's got small text. We'll just pass that over. Sorry. (laughs) And go to 7084, the future telling camera. All right, are you ready? Absolutely, I am. This is by Skylock Grave. And of course, it's called the future telling camera. Uh, Skylock Grave? Yeah. All right, why don't you go ahead and get us started? Let me get up. <laughs> object, object number, SCP-7084. Object class, safe A. Specific containment procedures. The SCP used to be kept in a standard containment cell in sector blank of site blank. I hope I don't get assigned here. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Cameras be hooked up to a monitor at all times to monitor activity. Only personnel of level 3 security clearance and high up permitted to enter the containment chamber of SCP-7084. Warning! Two idiots are reading them. After the first <laughs> study, the personnel are permitted to view the SCP if they have a, a history of, of mental issues or any personal issues that we should know about. That we should know. I love how it gets like... He does a good job of keeping it like lab written until then that we should know about. Then it all of a sudden becomes like first person. They're worried about you, man. <laughs> Description. <laughs> SCP-7084 appears to be a Tanfany brand security camera from Site Blank. Upon further <clears throat> in- in- inspection, the logo printed on the side of the camera seems to be slightly distorted. Reports show anything seen in the security camera's live feed seems to display footage from three to four hours in the future. After roughly 15 to 25 seconds of footage displaying the future, the camera feed seems to shut down for two to four weeks before coming live again. When attempting to view past footage, any monitor the camera is connected to displays an error message reading, This feature is not yet available. 
This is strange because all of the cameras in this camera seem to be capable of displaying older footage. That's the way. Uh, I, that's also the point of a camera is to display things that have been recorded. All right, so that would be aside from like the awkward grammar at spots so far. That would be my first big criticism uh, between this and the warning is that. Um, I, I would imagine this is probably a newer writer, so I'm not going to roast them or anything, but I would, th- I don't know why we're like being spoken to through first person in the, uh, the article. It's like whoever wrote this up is like talking to us, the viewer, for some reason. It feels weird. Hmm. Humans who have witnessed the future through the SCP are reported experiencing emotional distress and lack of sleep. Scientists are not yet fully sure the cause of this. Again, I feel like there's like, Maybe I'm just like a little out of it, but I feel like the grammar's off there. Scientists are not yet fully sure what causes this would probably be right, or of the cause. Mm. Addendum 1, Discovery. Security worker Dr. Smith was watching the monotonous footage. People walking oh, now down we're just the just, holes. Now we're just a, putting down. a lot of opinions in this paper. <laughs> His work was as boring as it was relieving. Oh my not God. having any containment breaches was the dream of any Foundation employee. <laughs> Of course, this wasn't reality. As he thought this, he witnessed a containment breach through the camera in Sector Blank. He picked up his radio. It's Dr. Smith in security. I'm witnessing a Euclid-class containment breach in Sector Blank. We need guards there. Stat. He looked back at the camera, panicked, and realized it had completely turned off. He picked his radio back up, his hands shaking, and practically yelled into it. Oh, let me pick up the microphone. It's Dr. Oh, Smith no. again! We lost the footage in the Sector! Dan, what happened to your mic? Sorry, I picked it up. I was shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to what it sound like. <laughs> it, 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 you just sounded like really like tinny for a moment, like far away. Trying to collect his thoughts, he realized he was holding his breath. All of the sudden, the guards muttered through the radio, There isn't anything here. The anomaly is safe in containment. <laughs> it's all the future! He swore he saw it break out. Guards came to escort him to a psych ward in the facility. <laughs> no, his mind, his sanity. All of our first, like, protocol is just, like, get him into an asylum. Yeah, of all the things that fucking happened to Foundation, it's like, ah, this guy must be crazy. <laughs> no, he felt like he couldn't gather his train of thoughts. He felt like everything was slow. His heart felt like it was going to break from his chest. Streams of tears no. ran down his face for no apparent no. reason. <laughs> Well, I think there's a reason he feels like he, he got thrown in the loony bin. He felt like he was suffocating his own thoughts. He felt like he was going to pass out. Why is it like a dwarf fortress like combat log right now? Yeah! <laughs> I don't want to be mean with that. That's what I was thinking, too. <laughs> he was still hyperventilating was still... when guards came to get him for questioning. He weakly explained everything he could through tears. As they were questioning him, about three and a half hours after the incident, the anomaly had breached. Dr. Smith sat in the interrogation room, in a ball in the corner, crying whilst muttering something sad about cameras. Cameras. They always watch you. But they abandon (laughs) you just like everyone else. No. While the MTF dealt with the anomaly. When the anomaly was recontained, Dr. Smith was given amnestics and sent to the psych ward for two months. Oh my god. So this one, I think, if, if we're giving honest crit, um, I'll try and point the, out the, the, the pros again. The, the transition to I'm, pros is very weird. There's sort of like an omnipresent issue of like poor grammar and spelling, but I'll leave that be for now. But like, I think it's weird because they're clearly trying to make this sound like a scientific SCP article, but where in the beginning it was sort of like we were seeing pokes of like sort of first person opinions. Now we very much got like um a perspective, like a more tale like structure, but it's also like. They waste a lot of time saying things that aren't necessary. Like, he, 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 like you were saying with the Dwarf uh, Fortress combat log, it's not really adding anything to the story. It's just, it's trying to ramp up how this guy feels, but it's telling us rather than showing us um, through, like, through action and, like, actual framing. It's just like, oh, he's extremely upset um, that he's accused of, like, lying or or being insane. But, like, you know what I mean? Mm, Yeah. All right. Let's go on to the next addendum, which is Witness. Can I uh, popcorn this one off to you? <clears throat> sure. MTF soldier, Ned Raber. By the way, what what is the context in like a scientific document of these addendums written in like a storytelling perspective being in the art? Um, it's for creativity. 
Could you imagine reading like an official document and you work and it's just like talking about how like stupid your coworker is? <laughs> it's like, oh, he was crying. He was so upset the customer yelled at him. <laughs> he was a ball. He was clutching his chest. <laughs> MTF soldier and Ned Rayburn was talking to the site director when he noticed a file on his desk about 7084. Clearly confused, he asked about it. The site director explained it was still in testing, but explained all they knew. Explained, explained. Uh, I get on tan all the time for that natural space. Don't want to spam your words. Oh, why did the MTF soldier go to like, the site me? director to ask about it? And then why did oh, the yeah. site director tell him? Um, you tell me. Also tell me why it was explained, but we don't get the explanation. <laughs> this is the explanation. Intrigued, Ned asked to see the anomaly. The site director was skeptical. That's, that's the other thing that makes this less believable as like a scientific document. Is like, how would whoever's writing this know all <laughs> the site director emotions or care? Yeah. The site director was skeptical. He made the foolish decision. Oh my, oh my god, you're going to get fired. That's the site director. <laughs> the, he made the foolish decision to allow Mr. Rayburn to see the anomaly. The camera was facing outside towards the main walkway at the time, as it was still in early testing, and they weren't exactly sure what they were dealing with. They just kind of wanted to see what would happen. Ned excitedly entered the cell, shaking with happiness. His expression faded when he realized it was a camera attached to a blank monitor. What was it explained to him, then? Set, <laughs> he doesn't even know what it fucking is. There's so many things explained right now, and nothing explained to me, the reader. As he stared blankly at 7084, it flashed on. A wave of panic blew over him. He felt incredibly nauseated. He felt like it was grabbing his soul. It was inevitable, he look away. said Ray, Ray, Ned Rayburn Smith. <laughs> he saw something horrible. MTF soldiers were taken from the top military organizations. And seeing one break down into tears was something most people never get to see. Except in like every other fucking... Yeah, every time they go into a I've scary read. tunnel... Yeah, <laughs> and the camera starts going off. It cuts back just in time <clears throat> to say like creepy things, like "Watch yeah. out, my stomach." <laughs> yeah, my eyeball. MT MTF soldiers only know four things: uh, be angry, stubborn military guy, cry in danger, say something vague and haunting about the SCP that's infected them, and die. <laughs> those are their those are their four m options in SCP. The monitor flashes off, and he runs out of the cell and collapses onto the cold tiles, crying. His fellow guards escort him away, completely and utterly confused. It's like this guy interacted with an SCP and came out worse for it. What could have happened? So, a lot of my criticisms with that addendum, same as the first one, so I'm not just going to keep okay. like rattling that off. I'll go out my um, turn, then. Go ahead, take on guilt. What he had seen, what he had seen shook him down to the bone. He chewed his nails until his fingers bled. He drank five glasses of water and was still dehydrated. He couldn't stop thinking about the camera. He saw his dark end. During a raid, his heart felt slow, slow, yet so fast at the same time. He couldn't help but cry thinking about his two kids. He couldn't breathe thinking of them losing him. They needed him. He couldn't choose between himself and his morals. It was like he was buried in a coffin made of terror and dirt made of fear. He almost <laughs> thought he was already dead. He checked his heart rate and it was 156. He felt like Coffin made of terror and dirt made of fear sounds like some shit Cot would have created in Arc 7. <laughs> he felt like a hummingbird, but more emotionally disturbed. Okay, I don't even know. I, I swear I'm not trying to be mean. I don't want to make fun of a new writer, but what does that mean? <laughs> hummingbird he felt like, like, a... like fast... Humming? I, but it's like right, but like, does, is a hummingbird typically emotionally disturbed? Because it implies it's even more emotionally <laughs> disturbed than a hummingbird. Hummingbirds are sick. <laughs> they, they, they're punk as fuck. He didn't feel oh, good man. about it. But he called out of work. Can someone draw a punk hummingbird? Can you, can you just call out of work in like a foundation death squad? Can you be like, oh, I'm not feeling well today. This this next one's my favorite. He, wait, hold on. Did we already miss it? His heart rate being 156? Yeah. <laughs> that's not even like an incredibly... That's like an exercising heartbeat. He's not exercising. Oh, uh, that's how fucked up he is. He called out of work. He called in sick and said he had a cold, but he didn't. An innocent oh, man was up. going to take his place and would die instead of him. That seemed comforting. Until it didn't. Almost <laughs> like a really itchy blanket. His feet tangled and the feeling followed all the way up his legs and back. He felt like he was drowning. When Foundation personnel came in to check on him, they reported he seemed 
seriously affected and dead, almost statue-like. Oh my god. Statue-like? One of the origin story. <laughs> Hell yeah. They considered sending him to the infirmary. Or the psych ward. They didn't know what to do. He wouldn't get off the floor and he wouldn't stop crying. I feel like if the Foundation cared enough about its employees to have a psych ward, it would be constantly full. And the be- anomalies would spontaneously generate them. <laughs> His eyes stung from crying so much. They had never seen any MTF react to anything like this. No mobile task Actually, force. Actually, you know what? This is giving me a, a stupid idea for like a... Maybe not group of interest, but you know how there's like people write their own Foundation departments? Mm-hmm. Hear me out. It's a psych ward, but it's f- like for the SCPs. Like you have to give the SCPs therapy to keep them like emotionally calm. Nice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that they don't try to break out. You got to keep them happy. They decided it may be best to ha- leave him to have some alone time. <laughs> that's that's certainly that's what crying. he needed. It was working so we well for him. We put him in a room full came. of the yellow wallpaper to calm him down. Ah, uh, that'll do it. Popcorn. Tell me about tragedy. <clears throat> Addendum 7084-4. Tragedy. Oh my god, these chuckle fucks I don't know about again. Chaos insurgents were spotted heading towards no. the foundation. Likely for a raid. Newly trained MTF soldier Soren Royale. That is a fucking... That's like a James Bond that, villain. <laughs> that is a dope ass name. I love it. I just feel like it's wasted here for a newly trained MTF soldier. Soren Royale was sent in in Ned's place. Why not just sent in Ned's place? Ned was much more trained than him and would know how to handle the... Sp- <laughs> Why are you putting this in the SCP? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we roasting every employee in the Foundation? Soren didn't know what to expect for something like this. He didn't care. He had a family at home and he was going to fight like it was the last fight he would ever fight. fight. He didn't know it would be. No. No. His ears... Soren Royale! His ears rang, his shots rang out from both sides. He saw blood all around him. His vision was blurry, but he just kept shooting. He had an obligation. Bullets ripped through him, and he kept shooting, not even realizing. Oh my god, he's the main character. Oh, never mind. He fell to the ground. Some of his associates fought on. Others went to help him. His best friend, who was joining the MTF with him, was screaming at him, slapping his face. Soren's body became colder. He wasn't going to make it. His best friend fell to his knees, crying over his friend. Oh, sorry. His friend's I lost body. My place. Crying over his friend's body. The rest of the soldiers fought on. Three shots ripped through Soren's best friend. <laughs> no, he didn't even name. get a name. <laughs> they didn't even name him. He's just Soren's friend. <laughs> no. He, he quickly joined his friend. Reinforcements were sent in to help take care of the raid. People ran over their bodies, not even caring. They only cared about the raid. Redemption. Eventually, they were able to secure the victory royale. Nobody cared about the men lost in battle. It was a sick truth. Nobody cared about individual men. Only the success Dude, of the, the foundation gonna get in trouble. not capitalized. Why? Because <laughs> they're talking shit about the foundation. They work there. Yeah, they, they have to submit they not this. Been, <laughs> this whole time, Ned knew he had dodged his fate. Why is Ned in on this? Hold on. Okay, so, so if I'm understanding, Ned was going I think to be killed. Explain. Well, because he called and he in sick. He saw that, so he stayed home and he instead. called in sick. <laughs> and now Sword Royale and his best friend <laughs> terrorist in the line of duty. What? What's fucked up about this is why wouldn't Ned? Yeah, why did he just like tell? Yeah, he was like, hey, we're going to be invaded, and then they could have set epic foundation traps. But then he said he called, like, and he was like, uh, my, I've got a sore throat, I can't come in. <laughs> He's like, I have to stay home from the slaughter today. <laughs> Maybe he thought he'd get thrown in the psych ward if he killed anyone <laughs> like, like the last guy. That's what guy. he did for everything, so I can see where, where he got that concept. <laughs> This whole time, Ned knew he had dodged his fate and put it on an innocent man. He felt sick to the stomach. He requested therapy, and the Foundation granted him it. Why are we not capitalizing Foundation? Because he would never. Would not. Be the same. So impersonal. This would be better as a tale. I think it would at least make sense more format wise. Um, do you want to be the therapist or Ned Rayburn? I will be uh, the therapist. <clears throat> therapy logs, Mister Rayburn. I don't understand what you're trying to tell me. I dodged my own fate. I shouldn't be alive. But that doesn't make any sense. What fate? How did you dodge it? There was this camera. 
I saw the future through it. I was supposed to die in a moment. <laughs> I don't understand. The future? This isn't fantasy. Are you telling me there's no other SCPs that have to do with coming from the future? Or time travel? Tanhony? <laughs> I guess not. I guess not. not the concept one. of the future, even. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> we only live in the here and now. The OCP Foundation. Look, Ned, I don't know what to tell you. I can't clean up your life <laughs> if you can't <laughs> clean up your farts. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should send you to a psych ward. What? Why is that the therapist's first reaction? Why would you ever want a therapist from the foundation? So We're gonna send your ass to the psych ward. Then, oh, sorry, that's me. <clears throat> but what about my kids? They don't matter. You'll only ruin their lives with your crazy fantasy mindset. They need me. They never needed you. <laughs> what the fuck? No one did. <laughs> Maybe you should have been the one who died if what you were saying is true. T- Tanhony as a therapist would be like, just join the tower already, idiot. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to help. Listen, I can't help if you don't understand the world around <laughs> Your kids hate you. Your wife left no! you your kids for the same reason. This is like a goddamn Dharma video. <laughs> Maybe if you could clean up your dumb little life, the kids wouldn't need you as much as they do. They would still have a mom. Oh my god. I, but you, you have to believe me. I did something horrible. I can't live with it. Maybe you shouldn't live with it. Records collected by the Foundation for Research Purposes. This <laughs> <laughs> was fired. <laughs> Why is therapist so evil? I can't breathe! I can't breathe! He gets hired! He decided to fuck up one guy's life! <laughs> well, Shit, I need a second. He's going through it in this whole article. Oh my god, I need water. Please, give me a minute. Why is he so evil? Okay, Tan, can you read the rest? Uh, sure. <laughs> oh, Lord. Suicide notes. A bloody suicide... What?! A bloody suicide note was found next to Ned's dead body, which had a gunshot in its head and a gun in its hand. Oh, we're already calling the corpse an it? <laughs> so, oh, damn. The notes read... Oh, well, actually, this is you now. You need to read this. I can't bear the guilt anymore. Therapy made it worse. Yeah, I can imagine. I hope my kids miss me. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I hope my kids miss me. This, this actually feels like too insensitive to read almost. <laughs> but I guess we'll see it through. I guess it's time to accept my fate as I, as I saw in the camera. I was supposed to die. It's, is this like Final Destination rules? It's my fault. My last wish is that you tell Soren's family I'm sorry. And my What's Soren's best them. friend's family? I don't. <laughs> he wasn't important enough. He didn't even fucking want a name. funeral. I, I like to imagine that whoever wrote this, like Soren, was a character that was built up way more in their head, and that's why he's so important. But like, it wasn't. <laughs> so, justice was Soren's best friend. <clears throat> I want justice. It was a mistake coming here. Tell my ex-wife that I'm sorry. Tell everyone that I'm sorry. I've made many mistakes in my time. I haven't felt the same lately. I don't really believe in any religion, but if there are any real ones, then I hope you forgive me and take me to a better afterlife. This is the last you hear. That's how you close out a suicide note. This is Ex- the last you hear. Part where we put, <laughs> except for that part where we put uh, all your personal feelings, your therapist, which should be protected by HIPAA logs, and your fucking suicide note, immortalized in, in an article about the <laughs> what, camera. What way to end the, the suicide note, though? This is the last you hear of me. <laughs> it's like a villain line. Honestly, I gave most of my criticisms through it, but I really think. Like, jokes aside for the comedy. That suicide note was, like, incredibly offensive to anyone who's actually been, like, depressed or suicide. Like, it's so, like, poorly written and, like, out of nowhere and just uh, kind of made me mad. I'm trying. I'm going to have to download Why was the therapist? I thought that was going to be, like, a twist, like, that the therapist was part of the anomaly, but he was just a dickhead, I guess. If the therapist was part of the anomaly, it would at least make sense. I, I just don't understand. Why was he so evil? 
And and why was the psych ward like? What do you mean this isn't fantasy? Like this is the goddamn <laughs> yeah, foundation. It like, is fantasy. It's literally like a fucking Feywild, all right? And like magic robots and shit and flesh people. Like I say, flesh people. Like people aren't made of flesh. Future. I meant the fucking what are, are they you called? Crazy. The Sarkics. That's what I was trying to think of. This one. This is my first ever one of ten. One out of ten. I don't want to be mean to a writer. I tried to give honest criticism. I don't want to, like, you know, just dunk on you for easy laughs. But this one, I really feel like that last suicide note was, like, super bad taste. Um, And also, I just feel like, in general, there were a lot of things you could clean up. That said, I hope you don't stop trying to write for the wiki. I hope you get more crit from people. From people. I, I don't want to... I don't know if this is a cold post. I would assume it is just because of the, like, spelling and grammar errors at the very least. But I hope you keep trying as a writer because you shouldn't feel bad, especially if this was like one of your first works. Uh, we've all we've all written stuff like this before, I'm sure, when we were starting out. Um, shall we move to the next one, Dan? Uh, or do you have any thoughts? Well, I think I echo your thoughts. Like I said, it's a, it's a, it's a strange one, but um, I feel like the the the, the 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 course to success is chartable here. In that, um, right. it did, which need a consistent tone, less weirdness about the psych ward, and uh, I'd really just like if you ever see this video, can you please tell me in the comments what's going on with the therapist? Yeah, that was pretty insane. I think if there had been less time describing all these people's personal feelings and more time like showing us like actions that would give that away, or like doing some sort of storytelling, maybe like. Logs where we see, like, because we've seen before logs, right, where people are like, this is a video log of the camera, and then it's like zero oh one zero fifteen seconds, you know what I mean? And they, like, describe what happens. Yeah. Something like that even might, would have been a, probably a better way to show the camera than just like, oh, he saw himself die in it in a raid. Yeah, but like, for him, it's like, that's not, when that's surprising, was like, it's not good. Like, my, one little thing I have is like, it feels like there's a separate anomalous effect where it like makes you go crazy. And I feel like it's, yeah. I don't really need that. Yeah. It would have been nice to also see a positive outcome in one of these. The two times we saw it go through, it was like, oh, he got thrown in the psych ward, or oh, he committed suicide out of guilt. Um, for avoiding his death instead of for some reason informing his supervisors that was a raid coming. You called it sick. I would have loved to see one where the foundation like saw a future and then prevented it properly. Or did anything with it. Yeah. Um in that case, shall we go to the next new one? Sure, this is SCP seven two one four, Soviet Chernobyl Zombie by SCP Submission. Uh SCP Submission? Yeah. That's a cool name. Okay. Uh, Item <clears throat> number SCP-7214 Object class, you sell it Special containment procedures SCP-7214 To be contained within a standard secure Human containment cell, what's it eat? Is there a traditional chat? See, you actually They started off strong, they started off like every other SCP, but they forgot the second line where they have to Point to nutritional chart, random number Dash A or B SCP-7214 must be sedated before any attempts to transport it. During transport, SCP-049 must be secured with a class 4 what? humanoid restriction harness, including a locking collar and extension restraints. I feel like you forgot to uh, you forgot to change that after you copy-pasted it. Wait a minute. Is this just SCP-049? No. <laughs> I feel like they just took a little bit of it but forgot to uh, change the number. Okay. It just be noted that SCP... Or maybe, or maybe 049 just goes crazy when this SCP is Maybe just a reminder. Just in general. Yeah. It has been noted that SCP-7214 is extremely introverted and prefers to be left. Left of what? So, uh, <laughs> to the SCP's containment it is required to bring. It prefers to be... It prefers to be left wing. <laughs> to enter the SCP's containment it is required to bring. A dosimeter. Hat and face shield. Steel toad. Radiation resistant boots, coveralls, nice. a hooded radiation resistant suit, and self contained breathing apparatus. And the same equipment is required while transporting. The SCP oh, is very uncooperative with the Foundation. Interviews between the SCP and the Foundation have all been cancelled by the order of Dr. Well, of blame. Wait, Dr. they've all been cancelled? Like, so we haven't done any? Yeah. Okay. 
The script. So, um, right off the bat, I'd like to start real quick with a criticism. I think this one, even if it's just because it's copying other containment procedures, starts off stronger than the last one. I do think, obviously, the first thing Tam pointed out is like, hey, SCP-049, make sure you change that to the right one. I also think there was a little bit of weird grammar. Um, There's a lot of um, paragraph. full stops that should be commas. Yes. Um, but, uh, and also foundation be capitalized, but otherwise I think it's assuming this is like a first article without much crit so far, it's, it's a big step up from the last one, I think. And I respect where it's coming from. Nice. Description. The SCP is a half zombie wearing a standard, oh, hell yeah. a, a standard Soviet MBC suit. Patches and auteurs have been present in the MBC suit. The suit's hats have been completely removed off of the SCP. The SCP's skin is pale and loose. It's heavily degenerated and rotting on the inside. It is infested with Staphylococcal aureus and uh, Ascariasis. The SCP is also visibly infected with viral and fungal diseases. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, that's a lot at once. That's like a lot of stuff around with it. This is me. <laughs> my my Tinder also- profile. <laughs> Do you think it's a half zombie because half of it died, or do you think it's a half zombie because like a zombie and a normal person had a baby and it's like a I'm half excited to find out. <laughs> that, to be honest. <laughs> Infected tissue has been collected. However, scientists are unable to figure out its regenerative ability and its inability to be decomposed. Oh, it's got those abilities? You didn't say. So, um, I actually shout out to them. They used the correct its. Okay. A lot of writers don't. <laughs> okay. So good on them. Well, I, well I, I'm being serious. Well, okay, but it's like, well, That's a really easy one to mix up. It's without the apostrophe is the possessive. It's with the apostrophe is it is. A lot of new writers mix that up because anything else that's possessive has an apostrophe. I'm, I'm being real where it's real. Okay. The SCP does not display any need to eat or excrete waste. The SCP has shown the ability to communicate with the Foundation in Russian. However, it's not oh, shown... Need to capitalize Russian. Yeah, however, it's not shown any will to cooperate with the Foundation. The SCP is extremely introverted. The SCP appears to have no desire to leave its cell, but rather has a preference to remain where it is. Same. In that case, shouldn't it be object class safe? I guess so. Origin. 26th of April, 1986. The Chernobyl disaster happens. The SCP is a Soviet worker working at Chernobyl nuclear power plant. The SCP is an employee of company... A power sector 4. The SCP is tasked with... <laughs> I love how it's explicitly a two-digit number. And you were like, four. Zero four is what I thought. Yeah, nice. I respect the that. The SCP is tasked with servicing a radioactive generator. Servicing, yeah. Is that... Thank you for your service. <laughs> it's estimated that SCP-7124 serviced four in the Soviet Union. Fifteen minutes before, the SCP figures out that the reactor is unstable. SCP-X refuses to do anything because of a strong fear of radiation. Oh, I've got that same phobia. Wait, who's SCP-XXXX? I guess this is his new form. Oh, shit. The SCP-XXX begins to hoard documents for his own personal use, consuming them completely. What, is he eating them? Oh, you know what I think happened? Okay. I think this user did the thing we recommend where you use XXXX and then change it after... But instead of control F, he just like tried to do it manually and he forgot to change the numbers on some of them. Okay. But what do you mean he began to hoard documents for his own personal use, consuming them completely? Is he eating the paper? Um, maybe. The SCP managed to put his documents and his stuff safely, but the nuclear like reactor that. explodes. The SCP is faced with dangerous amounts of radiation. It miraculously <laughs> survives. Well, I would assume so. I mean, it's in containment. Addendum. Discovery. The SCP- Actually, that's an interesting question. You know how, like, in, in comics, like, radiation makes, like, all, half the superheroes? Yeah. Do you think radiation can make an anomaly in the Foundation? Well, we'll read it. Or yeah. would that technically not be an anomaly because there's, like, a scientific explanation behind it? I guess so. I get, well, we'll read them out of one of these anomalies now. It's it's addendum. Point. Discovery. It also mentions that the SV has a strong fear of radiation. It's like, yeah, me too. I don't want that shit. Yeah. Did I tell you about my nightmare of radiation dream? You did, yeah. Well, you fucking... You didn't shave Did I talk about it on camera? I don't know if you did. Tell me about it. It was a funny dream. Okay. Uh, Sorry to interrupt the story. 
So this was after my first night drinking a Four loco, by the way. So I call this my Four loco dream. So I was at the store in my dream trying to buy Four loco, And there was this girl behind me who was like, hey, I'm in a hurry. Can I cut in front of you? And I was like, sure. So I let her cut in front of me, get her stuff. And while I'm waiting, I go shop for more stuff. But then I go back and the line's longer. So I go get more stuff. And that keeps happening until like nighttime. And I finally get out and leave. And the girl that I like cut in front of me there is there. And we just start like chatting and shooting the shit. And we're having a pretty good time, right? Right. So I say, hey, you want to come back to my place? And she's like, sure. So we go to my apartment and I accidentally open the wrong door and there are like two dudes in hazmat suits with all these like radioactive barrels and they're like, get out, get out, you need to shave your head now, get out, get out. <laughs> I and still like, love oh, the, the implication that it's a <laughs> I know! <laughs> <laughs> you don't go bald because of the radiation. You have to shave your head to defend against it. <laughs> and, and I'm like, is this a joke? What's going on? They're like, no, get out now. So I leave and I'm like, okay, whatever. So then I go down to my actual room and there's no guys in suits there, but I look and there's like tins of radiation, not barrels, but like little tins labeled radiation. <laughs> Wait, so labeled I go radiation? To look. Yeah, I know, right? Like a little radioactive symbol. It's like warning. But they're like little tins. So I go in my apartment to take a closer look. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Then all of a sudden the girl screams, green sludge! And she runs. And I look and there's like a pipe in my room leaking out green sludge. And I try to run, but my legs give out. And then all of a sudden that feeling like when your arm's paralyzed goes through my entire body. And I'm like trying to crawl out of the room. I'm freaking out, but I'm going slower and slower. And then it switches to third person. And like everything's green and my eyes are yellow. And I'm like screaming in horror as I watch my body melt in real time. And that was my that was my radiation nightmare. Oh my god! Thanks for looking yeah. after my tins, by the way. <laughs> you. There wasn't you enough did room this. in my dream. Oh my god! You're so evil. Anyways, but yeah, my point was I do think everyone's scared for you. Like, if you're not, I feel like you should be. I, I, you know what I'm surprised by with all the stories of superheroes getting powers from radiation that there was never a tragic story of like kid dies of radiation poisoning trying to get a superpower like going at a nuclear power plant. Well, in real life, yeah, <laughs> you just find those ten year olds like broke into a nuclear power plant. Yeah, <laughs> you know what that? Then I think you've answered my question of why that hasn't <laughs> happened. <laughs> the stealthiest ten year old colonel. <laughs> I'm outside for nap time. Well done, <laughs> Snake. You fascinated you what down one bit. Now you two will be Spider-Man. <clears throat> Addendum discovery. The SCP was discovered after a series of different disappearances during the 2001 Chernobyl cleanup. Disappearances had mostly happened near the reactor. All the disappearances occurred during large cleanup efforts in the four reactor. Ukrainian authorities began the investigation and ultimately decided to give the information to the SCP Foundation. Ukrainian should also be capitalized. We need to capitalize our proper nouns here. SCP unit Maz Hatters is sent to discover that's, and contain the SCP. That's a good... Alright, of all the things, that's a good fucking that's name for like a hazmat unit. <sighs> Maz a, Hatters? It's a pre-existing uh, SCP one. <sighs> oh, that sucks. I wanted to give them credit for that. That's so good. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Addendum. Again. Addendum 7199. Maz Hatters is approved and quickly be- begins their retrieval policy. Wait, time out. Why is the addendum I just realized this, yeah. finding a, lo- a higher number what than the, the number addendum mean? following that? <laughs> what do the numbers mean, Mason? They're sent in with the following equipment. Free drugs for sedation. Class 4 human aid restriction harness and a bag. Dosimeter radiometer. Rubbing alcohol and guns. MTF teams are sent to retrieve the SCP. The team spots the SCP, but they do not want to disturb the SCP. As a precautionary measure, security increased. The SCP does not seem to mind this. Approximately six minutes later. The team moves closer. They've decided to bag the creature, so it would be blinded and easier to retrieve. They also have a sedative drug as a last case option. They have three sedative drugs, actually. Yeah, we knew, we knew about that earlier. Well, it's moving towards the direction of the SCP. It is seen throwing a light bulb as a precautionary measure to make the team back off. The team does not back off. The SCP gives a final <laughs> warning by throwing a brick at the crew. The crew does not back off. Captain Hell yeah. Captain Four gives an order to open fire after the brick severely damages one of the members of the crew. Communications between the SCP and the team have failed, and the crew does not understand its final warning. Thus, the SCP goes feral and begins a series of attacks on the team. 
The team suffers heavy losses and communications have been cut from the team. The team goes for the last resort option. They attempt to sedate the SCP with a medicine, stabilizing it. They measure the radiation of the SCP using a dosometer radiometer. The reading shows 204. Or, Ms. Va. 2004. 2004. Ms. Va. Approximately 45 minutes after the team returns of the SCP. I hope they. So, this one, I think the. the... The addendum numbers and the SCP numbers and the spelling and grammar mistakes aside, I thought you had something semi-interesting, maybe not groundbreaking, but something that definitely I think would have passed in like series one and been a decent SCP. I feel like if you had formatted the last addendum differently and um, focused a little bit more on like the story behind how this guy came to be and what his personal goals are, that would have made it a little more interesting. But even if you had, if you just cleaned up the, the grammar, spelling, number consistency, and then formatted that last addendum differently, like maybe as a script, like showing as time passes, um, I think this would have easily passed as like a like a something that would have stayed on the site, maybe low upvotes, but like series one esque. So I think this one had a lot of potential. And I liked where you were going with it, and I think for a first attempt, especially if you didn't have crit, um, not bad. Um, but I'd probably give it like a two, three, two, maybe three out of ten. Interesting. Yeah. What about you? Um, I have to agree. Um, I feel it's a little bit off the rails as well. I'd still don't understand why he ate the documents or he caused them, which consumed them. I don't know what that means. Yeah, he might have used the wrong word with consume there. Maybe he meant, like, collect or something. Yeah. I don't know. But I like the idea of him being a human paper shredder. <laughs> uh, it's all melted in my radioactive well, stomach. Well, actually, I think that most humans now. can be human paper shredders if they so wish. Dude, I used to eat paper when I was a kid. I didn't yeah, know I can tell. what was wrong with me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough now. I, don't worry, I ate flowers. Oh, that's cute. Though. That was like I, I grabbed the flower, and, like tore its fucking head off, like beast. Do you ever used it... to eat like honeysuckle flowers? No, oh, no, I didn't go for the fans, like anything I could find. I, I mauled them. And it all rather depends on one, what one considers to be a flower. Interesting. After all, all right. humans uh... have such lovely stems. <laughs> okay, Dan, honey, <laughs> time to go to bed. <laughs> I can't. There's still All 20 right. minutes left of the episode. And next we have SCP-7078. Oh, wow. This one's... Oh, it says, please don't edit. This it's is still on the wiki. Progress. It's complete. I'm reading it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think they meant to post to a sandbox and they didn't know better. I don't want to make fun of them for that. Uh, let's go to a different one. That, that just sounds like, like a noob mistake is all. How about 7121? Look. This one looks complete. Pretty short. Sure. Alright, it's by the Mandin Manpin. Interesting. Let's get into it. Yeah. <coughs> Why don't you start us off? Item number 7121. Containment class Kater. Disruption class Flame. Risk class Dan Donga. Special containment procedures. The SCP is contained within a secure storage locker made of a special material capable of stopping the SCP from using its reality bending capabilities at all times. Does such a material exist? What's it called? Yeah, that's a little bit like it's oddly a big, big specific ask. inconvenient. I feel like if that existed, it would be on every reality container, right? How can I fucking hope so? <laughs> it's, like, it's a big ask for me as a containment specialist. You're, where are we going to get this? <laughs> Yeah, very interesting. Access to the SCP is strictly limited to authorized personnel with level 2 clearance or higher, and must be conducted under the supervision of at least one level 3 personnel. All experiments involving the SCP must be approved by at least one level 4 personnel. Description. All right. The SCP is a standard pink eraser. Asia. Eraser. Measuring 2.5 yeah. by 1.3 by 0 0.8 centimeters. Oh, hell yeah! I missed these, buddy. Although those seem like oddly weird, like, measurement. Also, isn't that really small for a pink eraser? Um, I don't know. I guess if it's, it's like a, a pencil top eraser. Upon contact... Isn't a, isn't a standard pink eraser like a couple inches? I don't know what a standard length is. <laughs> Fair enough. The SCP's anomalous properties manifest when it comes into contact with any solid objects. Upon contact, the, well, like, at all, how are we containing mm -hmm. it then? Was it when it touched a locker? You tell me, man. Upon contact, the object in question will be erased from existence as if it never existed. Why doesn't it fall through the floor? 
Mm-hmm. This erasure extends to all records and memories of the object, effectively making it as if the object had never existed. The extent of this erasure is... How do we know it does this, then? Mm. The extent of this erasure is not limited to physical objects, as living beings and even concepts can be erased. The SCP's effect has been observed to extend up to a radius of three meters. How do we observe it? It, like, it changes memories. Records. Mm. The SCP's effect is not limited to the immediate vicinity of the eraser. It has been observed to cause reality-bending effects in the surrounding area, distorting the fabric of reality and causing the perception of a void or nothingness. These distortions have been observed to affect both living and non-living entities, causing confusion, disorientation, and hallucinations. I'm feeling the first one already. This is a scary article. Damn. Addendum 1. Discovery and Containment. Why don't you tell me about the Discovery and Containment? SCP-7121 was discovered in the possession of a young boy in... Um, in where? Four. Poor New York. The child had been using the eraser to erase various objects in his home, causing distress for his family <laughs> and confusion for authorities. Upon discovery, I, don't, was I still don't get like the what's there to be distressed about because like it changes your memories, so you don't you want yeah know. yeah maybe they were just like why is our house so empty like that fucking <laughs> episode of vague, like Sims Four distress like people like just looking at missing space or a couch would be like a booty <laughs> departure. Yeah, they're like in the pool and the ladder's been erased and they're like, oh, how do we get out? <laughs> like a budino! Like waving in the player. <laughs> that is, does feel like a Sims like torture. <laughs> SCP-7121 was confiscated and the family was administered Class A amnestics. Oh, this is my new favorite format. Interviewer interviewed. I wish I had used oh, this. Wait, wait, hold on. Never mind. No, I should make fun of me. I thought that was just the script. They're just introducing who the interviewer and interviewed are. Okay. okay. Interviewer. My Dr. bad. Dr. Four. Why? What is with you and four today? <laughs> You're like the fucking anti version of what's that guy in part five? Mister? That's fucked up that you yeah. didn't remember Mr.'s fucking name. You're, you're the anti Mista. You keep bringing up four. I'll be the child's mother if you okay. want to be not I'll Mista. I'll be Dr. Four. Sure. Forward. Forward. This interview Forward. Will be used to oh, I'm so sorry. Forward. Yeah, I get it. This interview will determine the effect this SCP has on the external viewer. Date 4 4 Begin lock. Hell yeah, this is an old ass article. Can you tell me about the eraser your son had in his possession? It was just a regular eraser, nothing special about it. He said he found it at school. Do you remember what happened when he used it? I'm not sure. It's like, uh, I can't remember. I know something happened, but I can't remember what. And do you, I see, and do you, uh, remember your son? What? <laughs> I, I don't know. I can't really remember him. It's like he never existed. I understand. Wait, but then. <laughs> Thank you for your But if time. he never existed. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> How does she remember the eraser, but not the son? <laughs> yeah, he was using the eraser. She remembers he found it at school. Closing statement. Subject was then administered class A amnestics following the interview and was told she cannot remember her son because of severe memory loss. Then escorted out of the set. Um, Bruh. Addendum 3, experiment log. Subject, D928, a non-anomalous human male. Procedure. The D928 is instructed to touch the SCP to a small plastic toy car. I still don't get why it doesn't fall through the floor. A vid- Wait, does this does this also not imply that the- how does he didn't touch the kid it? erase himself? Yeah, how does he touch it? Yeah. He- Gloves? But won't erase the gloves. But then wouldn't the gloves get erased? A video camera is set up to record the process. Result. The toy car is instantly erased from existence, as well as all records and memories of the toy car. No, they're clearly not all records and memories because they're in this article. I think that's probably the reason this article got done. It's not the idea itself, but that the internal logic is not... We're in a room made from that material that isn't affected. (coughs) Oh, you're right. Sorry, the deep class reports extreme disorientation and confusion. D-928 does not remember anything about a toy car or a pink eraser. Neither do personnel. Well, clearly we fucking do because we've written it down. Personnel needs two ends. We've erased one of them. Damn. Analysis. The complete loss of memory, obviously not complete, about the toy car and the SCP shows that the SCP has the unique ability to erase the memory of objects and erases for everyone who knows about the erased object. We knew this. Clearly not. Making it seemed like it never existed. As well as the already known object to make objects and touches disappear and causing severe reality distortions happening near itself. 
We already knew this. So other than a handful of spelling errors, which is less than other articles, I think the main reason this is getting... Is the logical the wiki, sort of Yeah, flaws. this is the logical fallacy. Uh, and I feel bad, because in the discussion, the guy's asking why so he can improve, and no one's bothered to tell him. Uh, so I I kind of want to write a reply, but I don't want to, like, stall the video. Go ahead, please. T- but, get, take us through your writing process right. for a reply. So I'm just going to say... Um, hey, other than a few, uh, spelling and grammar mistakes, it's not bad, a bad SCP idea or anything, it just kind, the logic just isn't consistent. If all records of things erased are erased, how are they mentioned in the article? If the son was uh, erased and the mother doesn't remember like he never existed, how does she remember him bringing the eraser? Also, if the eraser erased the son, why not the uh, D-class using it? It seems like there are a lot of internal logic inconsistencies uh, in the concept that make it fall apart, which is why I had to downvote it, but I do hope you continue to come up with new ideas and write. How's that sound? Um, I think it sounds good. New post. You have an active editor somewhere writing. It's not possible to edit multiple elements at once. What? what? You make me you had seen something? No. Let's try that again. All right. Post has been saved. Did done. All right. Uh, do we have time for any more? You think? Um, I don't know about that. It might be best to move on to the comment section at this point. Comment section? Yeah. All right. Now that we've done this for 140 weeks now. Yeah. We read the comments. No, no, I just... This one wasn't as strong of a showing. Put the eraser on the comment section. They're all gone. (laughs) Uh, Hold on. Sorry, my brain's just a little fried right now. Uh, I didn't think this week's new SCPs were as good of a showing as last week's. I tried to be uh, fair and honest and give, like, crit and not just, like, make fun of them. Although there were parts that were very funny for some of them. Um, But... We've come to an end here. We we did a solid three, right? Three or four? Uh, yeah. Art- All right. Okay. I, I We are both clearly out of it today, guys. We watched a Darman knockoff, and like, we're not in the right <laughs> It did such tremendous psychic damage. <laughs> it did a lot of damage to us mentally. Uh, okay. So, first up, I Alexander... I what- with, with Alexander's comment as well, because I'm very disappointed in our comments is... Because as far as I can say, the meant I was gonna say they're the only ones who've done the password, but JK TKC also did the password. So well done. Uh, what was the password? The password was to tell me what character you rolled in um, SCP Containment Combat, whatever the fuck it was called. Oh, okay. Alexander says password. I like the hidden milk Jesus character. He's a five star, and I got him during the Christmas milk and cookies event. Even though I still need to open more fairy <laughs> cages for the. <laughs> I actually love. <laughs> I love the idea that that's what you open in the SCP Gotcha's Faraday Cages. <laughs> that's so good. Faraday Cages for the s rank Spear of the Non-Believer, and also an epic rare applied theology manual for gifting to increase his intimacy rating. That was like so... That came from a Gotcha player. <laughs> that, this is a man who's played FGO before. Who's Alexander, I appreciate you. <laughs> this is someone who's, who's just like us, for real. Everyone's uh, needing and- lots of respect. <laughs> I, I've tried to do gacha games since FGO, and I realized the only reason I liked FGO was like the community of us playing it. Like I, can't, I don't actually like gacha games; <laughs> they're all terrible. Uh, Adji says, "When will you make an episode discussing the entire Five Nights at Freddy's lore?" Um, um, when I know the lore, I don't. I vaguely know some of the lore against my will. You know, we should play the Five Nights at Freddy's game and then just decide the lore based without any other knowledge or reading, just like from our interpretation. I think that would be fun. 
Uh, M.T. says, I'm finally caught up. I loved the anti-memetic series and would have bought the books if they were double the pr- if they weren't, I assume, weren't double the price because of shipping. Also, Rent. If you're looking for suggestions, I would suggest SCP-4043 Gaia. Read it a while back, and to avoid spoilers, the process of termination is really fascinating, even though I didn't get half of that shit. I'm sure you'll like the format screw. Now I'm going to read Vigilantes again for that midnight copium. MT, I don't know who you are, but uh, I respect you because Vigilantes is the only good MHA material. Um, don't at me. Shythalia says, funny. There is an actual SCP fighting game. It's called Cross Containment, but I don't know if it's still around. Me neither. I haven't heard shit from that server. Have you? Uh, no, we played it. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a good time. I remember not really understanding. I just learned how to bounce as the one sort of um, Kimiko character. And that was all I needed nice. to know. <laughs> uh, Crowcat says, OMG, this episode's just like RRR. Yeah, I hope we don't get sued by them. <laughs> Dude, uh, by the way, Tan, I'll be honest. I didn't want to wait a week for you to watch it. I watched Ego without you. How was it? Was that one of the fly? That's the movie The movie where he turns into the fly. I liked it. I thought it was funny, but it wasn't nearly as strong as RRR um, in terms of like film. Did but it, I thought it was live up to that one time you read out the fucking synopsis and made everyone die? The synopsis made it sound more interesting, because the synopsis made it sound like he did all these cool plots to like slowly re- re- like bring this guy to his downfall which is what happens but all the plots basically uh, like came out to just buzzing in his ear so he would like do shit that would cause problems that made his life progressively worse until he ruined it <laughs> actually now that i'm saying it out loud maybe it is funnier than i gave it credit for <laughs> it just told it. <laughs> like like yeah it, it was insane like he ruined this guy's share meeting for like a 10 billion dollar deal by making him like go crazy trying to swat him and like he's like in his fucking car he gets in a car accident because of the fly almost dead and then he drags his little fly leg across like the dusty windshield and says i will kill you <laughs> <laughs> it's really good you know go watch it go watch ego e-e-g-a it? look it up on netflix, netflix. <laughs> it's fucking great uh comedy man kelp says Hello, Discovering SCP Nation. I'm very sorry I was not able to comment on last week's upload, as I had slipped on banana peel and accidentally fallen through a portal to the Tanpony dimension. Luckily, August the Executioner was able to let me out in time for this week. Great guy. Yes, I know this. He is great. Presses a button. That's why we promoted him. August's corpse. He should No! I just promoted him. What the fuck? Yes, you promoted him. To the grave. August! Now come on. November the Executioner. Uh, Anomalous, put a, a flash, like a clip show flashback reel with sad music of me and August through the loops. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying our time together. Password this episode is August the Executioner. The, the August and the Executioner. Your, your password is you need to, like, beg for your life before him. August is like a big muscular it's, dude with, like, an Executioner's it, it, hood and yeah. a giant axe. <laughs> exactly. Bring people from other loops, like, parallel yeah. universes. So what happened to the August in his loop? Like, what hole did he leave August behind? And how does that, it affect the loop? loop. Was... Does it, like... No! Nah! <laughs> That's for you, oh. comedy man, Kelp. You're going to double time in each dimension. Send him away no If any back. of you... If any of you watch Havoc Moon, Tanhoney's like the U2 of real life. <laughs> He's so evil. Uh, an anomalous writer says, a Marshall Carter and Dark and a Moonskip? I noticed we get a lot of those. Another episode once more. Smile. SCP fucking I love, love you, you Anomalous. Orgage Dream says, I actually don't understand what Tanhoney asked for the password, Lamau. Also, some good SCPs this episode. Wow, wow. If you don't understand, I'll make you understand. November. Take away the hope. <laughs> November's August's slightly bigger brother. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, boss. Job done. <laughs> what the fucking orcs in the World of Warcraft? <laughs> Job's done. Oh my god, have you? I've been playing Shadow of uh, Mordor uh, again. You ever play? He's play Shadow of War. I the, uh, that's what I'm playing after I finish Mordor. Um, I have both. It's like Bright Lord, Dark Lord, same thing, really. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, JTKC says, when the skip is discovered, slash when the RRR is discovered, listen to this week's episode and take a shot whenever they reference. You will get alcohol blindness. <laughs> no! 
The more time I spend in the working world, the more I enjoy Marshall Carter and Dark stuff and how evil slash not really evil they are because it's just the reality of commerce. So it's a good thing I'm going to be a business student soon after the military. So I rate this episode an 8 out of 10. The remaining 5 stars are only four ninety nine each. Dan, honey. Can we can we spare such expense? Absolutely. For the, for the podcast, I don't think. <laughs> Oh yeah, the password is my role for the Epic Game SCP Containment Combat TM, the generous sponsor. I managed to pull the rare SSLRUE 5 star Among Us Wrath card. I am now financially unstable and my wife is spending less time at home. Very <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, have a good week, guys. <laughs> no! <laughs> Did you know JTKC was married? Me neither. Fucking learn something every day. Well, I hope you're able to save your marriage, buddy. Um, but I think that's everything for this week, yeah, Tim? I know of. Now, if only we can keep talking for like 60 more seconds so that Tim, <laughs> there's Tim, over an hour. Um, I'm at 59.20, so maybe your recording time is way off. I'm buddy. also at 59.20, but when I said that, we were a few, it was a few seconds earlier. Oh, this bastard. Um, what? Uh, I the new Boots is good. Have you seen it? I I have heard it. I'm going to see it. I've not seen um, the first. I want to I'm like ten years behind. I'm also gonna see. There wasn't really a first one. There's like a show. There was a first and one. There's like a special. Maybe it was Puss in Boots. The movie just called Puss in Boots. I don't remember it. Fuck. Why well, you selling such authority if you don't fucking know? This so I don't. I thought there wasn't. I hate you. What the fuck? There's too many Shrek movies. I can't keep track of there's them. There's one Puss in Boots movie. <laughs> fuck you. Anyway, um, do you have anything you new you want to announce writing wise? Uh, no. Is is SCP Capricorn or whatever ever going to be written? In April Space Capricorn. April Space Capricorn. It will be done when it's done. So that means never it's, it's for some of you who are new to the Tanody writing. My biggest fear with you going on hiatus is I just remember the last time you went on hiatus because it was sick, which was during the Atlantic Grail War. <laughs> you see, I remember. I, 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 there was a no story member. happening. Do, do you remember? Execute his memories. When does that... <laughs> no! You is... Your erasure axe. <laughs> <laughs>